Hey, hey, Tony Gaskins here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Talks with Tony. Got an email today from a young lady and it says, hello, Tony. First of all, I want to say the most high God led me to your videos and I have truly been blessed. Thank you so much for the wisdom the most high has given you. OK, so this is what I need help understanding. Me and my husband has been married for one year. We got married in May 2018 and separated in April 2019. While we were married, he took a job in North Carolina and I stay in South Carolina. He started coming home every weekend, but then some changes started. He started telling me he has to work on Saturdays and won't be able to come home. It got so bad that when I would call him on Friday night, he would not answer my calls anymore but he would call me back on Monday mornings because he was back at work. He would act like nothing was wrong. So we would argue all the time about how he was treating me. Finally, I told him I could not live like this being separated. He told me that he was making good money and taking care of me. So why was I so upset? One weekend he came home he drove my truck to church and drove the car. And I drove the car. While I was in the car, the Spirit of God told me to look in the armrest. At first, I didn't see a thing. But the Spirit kept telling me to keep looking, so I did. What I found was so hard. I found a pack of rubbers and some performance pills to keep him up and hard. I was done. I confronted him and he told me he had them rubbers for years. I knew he was lying. But anyways, we are at the point of divorce. I told him I checked on the paperwork and we can do it ourselves and it won't cost us very much. But I told him we have to be separated for a whole year. I did not want the the people to say I could get out sooner than a year if it's adultery. So I told him, she said, I did not want that the people would say I could get out sooner if it was adultery. I asked him if he would just tell the truth about cheating and we both can be free and move on. But he won't respond to that. What can I do? And why won't he do that? He has gone on and still living in North Carolina and still cheating. Help. Well, this is interesting and it's, it's sad at the same time that, you know, only been married a year. Guy's already cheating. There's another lesson. And I probably will call this long distance marriage because there's another lesson here that is not even really dealing with with this but the lesson about long distance relationships and how men handle them and so this is something very important that that women have to understand about men and men being very physical physical creatures and visual creatures and needing to be able to see and to touch and to hold and to caress and as soon as you get married, this man takes a job in another state. Next thing you know, he has another woman on the weekends. Next thing you know, you're finding performance pills and condoms and all of this. And all of that is a result of a weak man being in a long distance relationship. And then, you know, you got to be separated for a year. I don't even know why he married you if he just wanted to start cheating. But sit and wait that year. And if he won't admit to cheating so that you can, you know, be done sooner, then just wait the year. Don't stress yourself about why won't he tell the truth? Because he may say, OK, fine, I'll tell the truth so we could be done. And then you may end up regretting it. So sit for this year. And here's what you have to do in these situations. Anyone under the sound of my voice, if you've been cheated on, especially if you've been cheated on in marriage, but if you've been cheated on and you know it's time to leave a relationship and in the case of marriage where you got to sit for a year and even if you're not married, you still need to sit for a year 
or at least six months. And in this time, what you have to do is you got to analyze every red flag because this man was this man when you met him. This man was a lying, cheating man when you met him. But you ignore the red flags. You ignore the red flags. You miss what he was trying to show you. And now it's coming back to haunt you. So you got to sit down and write out a list of, OK, he did this, 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 this. And I did this, this, this. And you write it out and you evaluate it. You look at it and you draw the lesson from it because What's happening in so many relationships is people are ignoring the red flags. And then you're trying to force a situation just because you want to be married. And then here this guy is. <clears throat> boo boo the fool, Mr. Idiot, getting married and then want to start cheating. To the men, listen, be a man. Don't run a woman crazy. Don't marry a woman or lead a woman on in a relationship if you know you're not ready to be faithful. Like, be single. If you want to sleep around, that's between you and God. Whatever comes from that, let it just be your repercussions. Don't lie to a woman, lead a woman on, get married just to go cheat. That is so stupid. It's stupid and it's weak. And we've all been that man. We've all been stupid and weak. But you got to learn from it and you got to get over it. Because as a man, when you're doing these things to a woman, the only thing you're doing is messing up your own karma. All of this stuff that you're doing is going to come back on you. You will have to deal with the repercussions of your actions. Because guess what? <clears throat> what if this woman that you were married to went crazy? What if she went crazy? She came to North Carolina, pull up on you with a gun, blow your brains out. That happens every day. What if she came, caught you and the other woman in the act, killed both of you? Now, how would you feel? You would not feel you feel stupid and dead. And so you got to think about the wages of sin. There is a price you pay when you live a crooked lifestyle and eventually it will catch up to you. You will not be able to run forever. Eventually it will catch up to you and everything that you've been doing, all the lies that you've been telling, all the games that you've been playing, it's going to catch up to you and you never know when the last woman you sleep with is going to be that woman that will take your life for playing with her heart because she has had her heart played with too much. Men don't think about this. Men don't think about the fact that playing with hearts is a life and death decision. When you play with hearts, you put your life on the line. Stop playing with people's hearts. Be a man of integrity. Know who you are. Know what you bring to the table. Settle down and be with one woman. Hey, this is hard to deal with, but like I tell a lot of people, it's better to get out of the marriage early it's better to find out in a year than to have to go five years or ten years and waste that much of your life get out of it now and move on hey this is tony gaskin thank you so much you can hear him losing my voice a little bit under the weather but thank you so much for submitting your question if you have a question please send it to inbox at tonygaskins.com i'm reading them live um, not all of them will be long some of them will be shorter than others but i'm gonna give it to you real raw and honest to the best of my ability if you need a coaching session send the email to support 
at TonyGaskins.com. Support at TonyGaskins.com. Thank you so much. God bless you. We'll talk soon.